All right. Nobody would have seen the heels or the boots. It's true. Gosh. Yeah, just boobs. Just boobs. Yeah. All right. 210. Hey, guys. This is Natasha with Nateño 210 Podcast. Thank you to VOD Pod Media for producing and housing and to Latina Podcast Network for allowing me to be on your network. I really appreciate it. So, guys, if you are watching this on YouTube, go to Apple and Spotify and also listen and follow me there. If you are, uh, if you're listening, then go to YouTube and watch it. Yeah. yeah. You're going to want to see what Savannah looks like. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want to see what I look like. I don't matter. I'm not the guest. Oh, you God. are the guest. Oh, thank you. I mean, I do matter. Yeah, you, you know, do matter. I would say I don't matter. Yeah. yeah. Th- this is your talk show. Uh, rewind that. Like, okay, rewind that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, watch both of us. Yes. All right. <laughs> okay. So I am with Savannah V. Bam, 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 bam. I need a freaking control board. Pretend there's a control board. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam. Okay. What do you do, Savannah? So I am a multi-genre artist. Yes. I sing all sorts of genres of music. And you are an amazingly talented artist. Oh, thank you. Amazing. Thank so you. I met you, what, two, Thousand, three years? Two 2019. Years ago? Was it before or after COVID? After COVID. After COVID, when everything was opening up. Yeah, we still had masks. We still had masks, but yet we were bartending. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we got so drunk that night. I did. I didn't. I did. I had so many people giving me shots. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I can't take them anymore. So I would like give them to other people. Yeah, I can't drink when I bartend because then I forget shit. And then oh it no, me it's uh, me and Rosie. I don't know if you know my Rosie Posey. I, yes, I love her. We we turn it on and it's the Savannah and Rosie show. I love it. Yeah, ever since Coyote. So. Oh well, yes. So okay, so give people some backstory. It's like who you are, like what okay. you've done in your life, like all of that. Okay, so I've been singing since the age of eight years old. I started in a band called Bravado Band at the age of 10 years old with my uncle Rick Martinez and my manager Carlos Herrera from that back then. Um, I was an under contract till I was like 18 years old. I couldn't get out of that contract. Really? Because my par- parents put me in. They signed me up. Oh. So I was under a contract. Um, I had already released a c- CD by the age of 13 years old under Slack Monster Studios. Um, and by the time I was 21, 20, 21, around there, uh-huh. I was releasing another album called Besame. Uh-huh. And then I just decided to party. Mm. I was like, I don't want to do this. I know everything. You yeah. know how when you hit age 19, 20, 21, you think you, think you, know, you know everything. All? Yeah. I was at Chamaquita, mm-hmm. that muñaquita that thought she knew everything. Mm-hmm. So I wanted a party instead of go about my career yeah. and be smart about it. Yeah. So I did the pendejadas. Mm. And um, that's where I kind of learned myself. But you have to go through those things. Absolutely. Not everybody is perfect. And that's one thing about me. Um, I don't like to bullshit. I'm a straight up yes, you are. person. Real as, <laughs> yes, you as are. real as you can get. Yes. So yes, I was that wild child. So they mm-hmm. call me the wild child of Tejano music. Mm-hmm. Gabriel Zavala always tells me that. <laughs> and um, by the age I was 22, I got married. I went on American Idol in, 2000 and tw- in yeah, 2012, 13. Mm-hmm. So I was on American Idol. I got to meet Mariah Carey, Randy Jackson. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Keith Urban. Okay. And... Nicki Minaj. Oh. Yeah, so I went all the way to Hollywood. I came back. I released my sing- my CD, re-released my CD, Savannah. And after that, man, it was just like, whoa, I was lining up with Fito Olivares, Bronco, mm-hmm. um, David Lee Garza, Emilio, Jay yeah. Perez. The OGs. The OGs, girl. Yeah. So, I needed to stay on that momentum. I needed to stick with the big dogs. And it's hard. It's very hard. You can easily fall off. Yeah. And then once you fall off, it's like, well, damn, I got to go all the way and do it again. You got to start over. You got to start over. So I've started over a couple of times. You know, I've failed at my uh, craft sometimes. But, you know, with that, um, it brings the, uh, I guess, the longevity. And it kind of um, teaches you to never stop believing in yourself yeah so i've been through a lot of trials and tribulations but i am blessed i couldn't be more blessed um i work with gabriel zavala stephanie montiel underworld records music inc i've been with them for about five years already i've been working with my promotional team for over seven years she has taken me oh man i couldn't thank her enough miss rap rosie she's amazing okay um 
and my music is all over the world and it's beautiful thank you and i mean watch this whole episode before you go to her music but, <laughs> but definitely go if you're already on youtube just just go under look savannah, v. savannah yeah savannah <laughs> v and it is not only are the music videos beautiful thank you but your voice thank like, you uh and there's something about music videos just in general i, I think, think my like, thing is, is i like to be dramatic uh, I'm here for it. I I'm like the it. drama mm. queen when it comes to being in a video. I like to like, I don't know. I like to cry. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. I like, I don't know. Or it's, fight. Or fight. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, oh God, she's hitting the guy. Or oh yeah. God, she's like beating up a car. Like, I don't I know. I love it. Living in my dream. That one's my favorite. Really? Yeah. Well, no. Okay. No, this, this new one. With the horses and you're just like all majestic and beautiful the mariachi and like oh i want to give uh, a big shout out to ryan cliff yes. for that he did an awesome beautiful. job i'm um, him beautiful. and my dad my dad leon lotion um and two of course to to the all the young generation of um flocorico dancers yeah. did you see oh, them yes big shout out to crystal diaz yeah they did such a great job i love crystal crystal's a good friend of mine i've known crystal for so many years she's so sweet yeah she's a she's, yeah she has a big heart yeah um so i have to ask go cool. just because i want to know so my podcast is about keeping shit real okay, so we're right. just gonna which you do oh right. yeah <laughs> i have no yeah. filter yeah <laughs> okay so going back to your american idol days uh-huh. okay was everybody nice or who was like out of like the the judges oh god girl um so Nicki Spill minaj it. and mariah carey they actually fought over me what we were in houston and it was before um it was before the group audition Mm -hmm. because we had to do an audition just with us and i was like what the hell am i gonna sing i didn't know what i was gonna sing i didn't know what i was gonna do it was like being in the music industry i had never felt that tv world that that side of it Uh so it was like go like everything was on go 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 go. you had no time to even drink anything like it was like okay you got to be here you got to be here you're in makeup and you're in makeup and this and you're doing this so i got on stage and i was freaking out because i was singing in front of mariah carey yeah and i busted out with adele and she was just like you're going to the next round and Nicki minaj was like no she's not what and she's like yes she is so They start arguing. Nicki Minaj is like, her makeup, please. And they start putting on her makeup. And they're like, we're going to cancel right now. You got to go back to y'all's room. What? So I don't know what they argued about. I don't know what happened. But all I know is that they had attitude the next time we went into the next round. They were like not even talking to each other. They didn't like each other. Really? Yeah. And it was more Nicki Minaj. Mm -hmm. I would have thought that Mariah Carey, because Mariah Carey can sing like, she can welt, you know? Yeah. But you got a, a rapper who can't even freaking hold a note. E. and have to like literally you know have all those um auto tunes and all yeah. that saying that i mean she's awesome when it comes to like rapping in her genre but M- mariah carey kills her like by far sure yeah okay so i got her 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 approval her her um her like you're going to the next round type yeah shit. And I was like, oh, my God, Mariah Carey just told me big voice. And Nikki babe. was like sipping on Haterade. Yeah. She's like, I don't she, I don't know. I guess she just didn't like me. Wow. She didn't like my voice. Wow. I mean, but not everybody's going to like your voice. Not everybody's going to like you. And that's OK. Yeah, I don't care. I love Savannah. And if you have something to say. I'm a cast me on the side. How about that? E, not the earring. Let me see my earring. OK. So, yeah. Um, OK. So. I don't want to ask the like super like mundane like so what's next for you like no like I want to like shoot the shit so um, if you could work with any artist who would it be like dead or alive Jay Pettis oh okay because he's like the voice of Tejano and mm. and that's my next goal I usually hit all my goals though if I say I'm gonna do something I do it same it may it may be a year from now it may be two years or it may be two months yeah but I do it. Yeah. And it may take me a long time to create a whole album, but I make sure that whatever I'm doing, it's quality. Oh, yeah. Because I'm not going to release just anything that's... No half ass. Yeah. I don't yeah. like half ass shit. No, I don't either. Yeah. If I'm going to do it, I'm... I'm, I'm going it. full out. Yeah. 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 It, what is it? What is that saying? 
you know what saying I'm talking about. It's, it's either you get it's, it's full ass. It's, it's, no, I, I'm it's, kidding. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just <laughs> lost train of thought. What? Yeah, there you go. Go. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck, man? <laughs> I'm still like totally. Oh god, it's a sonsaki. But yeah, yeah. Go big or go home. Yeah, yeah. Jay Perez. Um, next one. She's not alive anymore, but Etta, Etta James. Oh my god. Etta James by far. Yeah. Yeah. Can I put you on the spot? Yeah. Can you sing something? Oh, God. <laughs> Girl, I just woke up. <sighs> Let's see. Anything. Um, I heard church bells ringing. I heard a choir. Because I just woke up and Girl. I don't sound good right now. I'm so sorry. Ah! Oh my god! I'm all my turn. Ah, no, I'm just uh, kidding. I you can't know, sing. it's been so long. <laughs> That's amazing. Honestly, since I've been on the stage, really. Yeah. I went. I went to um, a video premiere for a friend of mine, uh-huh. and um, I was singing, and I was like, "Oh my god, I miss this." Yeah. I've been in the studio. There's times where you know artists they're not. They're not touring, Mm -hmm. but there's a reason for that. Sure. Because I've been creating. Yes. So I got a lot of, a lot of music coming out, like a lot of music and I'm excited about it. Um, I'm working with a bunch of new people in my, my, you know, my team. And I'm just honored. I wish I could say a lot about it, but my producer won't let me, man. Yeah. No, it's okay. It's very like, Savannah, you can't. And I can't. Yeah. You can tell me off camera. Yeah, I will. Uh, you guys don't know, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> but just be on the lookout for some new music from Savannah. Yes. It's coming. It, and it's coming, like, soon. Yeah. No, I'm excited, like, girl. before the end of the year, before the winter? Before the winter. Okay, okay. And then I got another, I got an EP as well. So when I say that, you know, I've been in the, in the back, kind of like just cooking up. Yeah. I'm making something good. Oh, yeah. It's like the best caldo you've ever eaten. Ah, uh, caldo de res. I, I know. I don't even care that it's hot. I freaking love caldo all the time. Me too. Even when it's hot outside. I, know. I don't give a <laughs> shit. Yes. Okay. Drink break. And I'm not going to say who the drink is from because y'all ain't paying me. Oh. Um. <laughs> oh, thank you once again for my Yes. Time. No, of course. I got you. Okay. Favorite taco. Favorite taco? Mm-hmm. Girl, I'm not eating tacos right now, but... Girl. Bean and cheese. I'm a beaner. What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, my God. I, I don't know. <laughs> I love bean and cheese tacos. I don't okay. know. <laughs> I am a beaner. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't. All right. Favorite restaurant in San Antonio? Favorite restaurant? Mi tierras. Really? I can't. That's those are my stomping grounds. I started at the Market Square, and I will always um, support mi tierra. It will always be mi tierra okay. till the day I die, because okay. that's they they have always shown me so much love. I get that. Yeah, but like food wise, food wise, they're botana. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's straight. That's straight San Antonian. Yeah, right there. that's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. I'm loyal to my my city. I love my city. Two one oh. Yes. Two one oh. I just jacked it up. Two one oh. There you go. All right. Um <clears throat> so you have one day to chill, I'm assuming, right? Because you're so busy. Oh uh, yeah, I only chill on su- Sunday uh, Sundays and I still don't even chill. Yeah. So where if like your dream chill day, what are you doing? What makes you happy? I love to be on the river. Really? Building. Oh my god, <laughs> I mean my I the last time I fell asleep on there, I was telling my my boss the other day about that. I was like, oh, my God. I had, to, I had to eat a, uh, a cookie. And my brother, you know Gilbert, my brother Gilbert? 
Have you ever met Gilbert? Yes, you have. Have I? He looks just like me. Okay. Okay. So he's like, sister, they gave me some edible cookies. Oh. oh and I'm like, oh. okay. <laughs> well, this dummy decides to eat it, take a bite of it. Uh-huh. And I fell asleep on the river. But it was the best time ever. The best they were sleep? Like, Savannah, <laughs> are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was so good. So, yeah, no, I love being on the river. I love anything that has to do with water, the ocean. Mm. Um, because, I mean, that to me, that's my zen. That's my... When, when everything is just so much, when I feel so overwhelmed, I can go to the water and I can feel free. So that's me too. Like I crave water. I do too. When I'm really stressed out or really just like, I need a break, like I want to be around water. Why is that? I don't know. Wait, what's your sign? I'm an Aries. No, you're fire. And I like to be around water. And my mama was a Leo and she was water. See, and I'm earth but I love water. I don't know. That's weird, right? Yeah. So I guess not all the, not everything. Yeah, that, that totally is. makes sense of that you're an Aries. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, I, I am a firecracker. Absolutely. You are the fire. <laughs> oh, I am a firecracker. <laughs> you're the fire in the fire. I think it's yeah. don't mess with my money and don't mess with my family. Facts. And we're good. No, same. Mess with my money, then you see the, the, the ugly part of Savannah. And I don't like to show people that. Yeah. So if, if I've shown you that, it's because you've obviously done something. I mean, obviously. Yeah. I'm not going to just be like it's, that. You've known me for a long time. I'm yeah. not like that just to be like no, that. No, no, no. You were super sweet yeah. from the jump. It's yeah. the girls that, and I say girls because I feel like women act differently. It's women the, support women. Yes. It's the girls that are like, oh, hi. Like, why? Why? Why do that? And you know what? I'm just going to put this on blast. Do okay. it. Please. So I have one girl. Well, probably not one in the industry that supposedly says that they support one another. And she was talking major shit about my song, Brujeria. Like, she could not stop talking crap about my song. And I was like, Brujeria, if you listen to the song, it's talking about God, and it's talking about how you cannot cross that line to to be in the dark side, you know? And you have other girls kind of like, throwing salt on you Mm -hmm. but then you have your friends and family who really love you that support you and 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 cherish you and then you have your angel that is watching over you yeah and that's what it's really talking about yeah to misconstrued my song she was like how can that song even be on the countdown well damn it's because my fans well also because your voice and your talent and my fans are what really matter the most not the people in the back yeah so for that if you have something to say about my music maybe next time you should come and talk to me about it before you put it on facebook Mm, say it to her face yeah and then don't be so nice to me when you see me pretending you like me Mm, i don't like that either because it's like if you don't uh, like you know, for lack of a better word, if you don't fuck with me, then don't, then why then even don't fuck with me. Then don't fuck with me. Why even like, follow me? You're weird. A weirdo. It's a fan thing. They, she is a really, she's a real fan behind, I guess, closed doors, but doesn't want to support in front of the people that she probably talk shit about. wild. Like, my thing is, like, why, why talk shit in general? Like, there's a difference between I personally have an opinion. I don't, mm-hmm. I don't really like that song. Yeah. versus going to every single person and i don't know the full story i don't even yeah, know who yeah, this yeah. person I mean, is it, it's but okay. like but going at, around and saying like like have you heard that oh my god i don't like that which i'm assuming that's what's being said and that's or, ugly though because right. i don't do that to just anybody right. and you don't do that like i may tell my husband or a family member oh god i don't like that song maybe she should have really really thought about that before sure. she released it sure but i'm not gonna go tell somebody in the industry about that that's just disrespectful and rude no that that shit's weird to me and that's why i say girls that's the difference between girls and women is yeah. like women can have a conversation or even to your face hey like you know and it's hard it's hard to say like i don't like your stuff right yeah it's hard it's that's a very hard conversation but i feel like if you're friends or friendly like oh hey like maybe you know just for growth reasons or for whatever whatever and constructive sometimes criticism. constructive criticism is good now if you cannot take const- constructive criticism then the music industry is something that you should not be in well in general in, in general, life in life like if you can't take the heat get out of the kitchen yeah and it's like I've been doing this for so many years that I'm used to that. I have like mentors that will tell. Oh, I didn't like that. Sure. 
change that. Sure. Or, oh, this is not for you. Sure. Or, oh, like Gabriel always tells me, like, I can write a song and Gabriel will be like, mm, it's good. Ah. In my humble opinion, and he'll tell me, in my humble opinion, move forward. Try to try to, to write another song. That one's yeah. just not that great. So, I mean. But I, that's, that's what helps you grow. Yeah. It's like, okay, I'll do it better. Yeah. Or I'll do something different. Yeah. And that's where you get to where you are, right? Yeah. Um, no, I mean, I, I get that. Like, we all have we all have haters. Oh, but they yeah, say girl. if you're not doing it right, then, then you, you then you should. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but then, yeah, right. it's crazy. They're my fans. Um, and when somebody is like hating on me, I'm like, join the fucking club of all the other haters that I have, you know, because it's a fan club. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna call them the Savage Savvy Club. Oh, cute. Yeah, I like it. Give them a name, Savage Savvy. Yeah, but it decreases their power. Yeah, um, because you recognize it and you're okay yeah. with it, and I think it's just part of the game, like. Um, I've been doing this for a minute and there are, uh, to my knowledge, a couple of people that don't, they but don't fuck with me. And that's okay. Who wouldn't? Because you're amazing, Natasha. Thank I've you. known you for, what, three years already? See, but that's the thing. You know me. It's people that don't know me. And that's the same thing with me. I guess because I come off as a strong, um, I guess I have a, we're alphas. Yeah. You can't put a beta with an alpha. Well, and then when you have an alpha, because I'm an alpha, you're an alpha, but we get along we because get along. we recognize that yeah. in each other. And like, I support you. I love you. Yeah. I see what you're doing. And yeah. I'm like, yes. And then the same thing with right. me. I'm just like, oh, my God, Natasha, you're right. doing so great. Right. You don't have to be like, oh, like, no, like support one another. Exactly. Because if she was doing the same thing I was doing, she would do it her way. And it's crazy because so it's I've helped. I've helped people that I've helped people that have literally turned their backs on me and it's Same. crazy and i'm just like hold on i have such a big heart that i help these individuals but yet they're being fake and lying on my name and it's just sad mm. it is it's sad but i need to say this because it's been going on for so many years that i've never said anything that when you don't say nothing they think it's okay and sometimes you do have to speak out no, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Because if you don't, then they're like, oh, she's a pushover. I could just say whatever I want. Well, and that's something that like I struggle with myself because I don't want to give negativity attention. Right? No, I mean, because but, negativity brings negativity. Sure. And and I'm not saying you are, but like, but same, like I've been having like internal struggle with, do I speak up and say my piece? Because I've had multiple people come to me and say, so-and-so said this, so-and-so said that. Or do I just sit back and say, you know what? So-and-so you're going to figure out who they are at some point in time and you're going to realize it wasn't me. And it's so, sometimes it's a good thing not to say anything. Right. And I've learned that um, just don't say it because you look like the bad person when you're saying it back and you look like just like them. Right. I you, don't you, say, you look, I don't talk shit about people. And, and, and it's crazy and I don't have time for it. Mm -hmm. I like, like me and you, we work a lot. I work. I work 24-7. Same. I mean, I may not be working at the office, but I have my daughter who's in tumbling, who's in cheerleading, who I have to get up early in the morning and take to do all her things. Mm -hmm. So I'm working. I'm a mother. Right. Before me too. Before I'm Savannah B. Mm -hmm. So I have to take Savannah B out and then I have to be that Savannah lotion. Ramirez and it's kind of like whoa I have two two different personalities that I'm dealing with that's what I tell people I have multiple hats yeah so when I'm a mom I'm a mom I'm a business owner yeah I'm a content creator I'm you know I'm a doctor yeah and, and, and you're a doctor you know I mean? dude like, I mean, yeah. congratulations <laughs> thank you that's thank you. so and it's yeah. crazy because I surround myself with nothing but business women mm -hmm. nothing but you know strong-minded people Same. nothing but you know successful individuals yeah and none of my friends are my age really they're all older than me mm. say but you learn from that yeah but also you teach them yeah in return and but they teach you and then you teach them mm -hmm. because there's things that you don't know that they teach you and there's things that you, they don't know that they they you know you yeah from them. no and I it's agree. crazy because i have so many mentors that i can call right now and they'll give me advice and i'll give them advice and it's just like wow just, you, yeah. you love me. I love you. Like, yes. You know, I genuinely you love you. Yeah. And if you don't, for those people out there or listening or watching. There's always like, people that are willing yeah. to help you. Yes. Don't ever think that people are just not there. They're yeah. out to get you. Because when you have that mentality, mm -hmm. honestly, things will go sour really yeah. quick. Yep. Um, when you're open-minded, when you're grounded, 
And when you're in peace, mm-hmm. it's it comes so much easier. It really it does. does. Like the universe brings you so many. I don't know. It, I I feel like if you're putting out goodness in the universe, it'll all come back to you. Oh, it truly does. It, it does. It does. I've been so blessed this year. I couldn't yeah. even be. I couldn't. Um, I couldn't explain how grateful, how much gratitude I have towards yeah. the people that have literally backed me up for so many years. And we are successful. I'm not the only one that's successful. It's not just me. I didn't create the music. Gabriel creates the music. Mm-hmm. Gabriel sits there. He creates my music. He does my. He does the actual CD cover. Do you know how the album cover? Do you know how hard that is? He does the the lyric videos for me. Plus the music, the mixing and mastering. I mean, he has so many hats. He releases my album, him and Rosie. It's just, I, I, I couldn't thank them enough. Yeah. And it takes a village. It takes a team. Yeah, it does take a happen. village. Yeah. Because I can't do this all by myself. Right. But it's a recognition of like, I'm not doing it by myself. Yeah. Yes, it's your, it's your voice. Yeah. But there are so many people around you that it takes to make all of this happen. And when people want you to win, they will help you win. Absolutely. And they'll support you. Oh, man. Yeah. I've had so much support from the Zavala family. It's just so beautiful. I, I just couldn't be more grateful. Yeah. I love that. So I do want to ask, since we're kind of on topic, but like a little bit off topic, um, what has the, since you've been in it for so long, what has the Tahana world been like for you? Well, in in all um, respect and in all honesty, any woman in the in in any genre, it's hard. It's hard because we're women. This is a man's world, you know. But without the woman, you cannot continue to circulate. You know, a man does need a woman. So, with that being said, it's harder for us women in the industry. Mm. It's hard for the younger girls. It's and it's like sad because you want to see them performing everywhere. You want to see a whole lineup with nothing but women, which we got to have. I think it was a year or two years ago. Um, Mr. Luna, big shout out to Mr. Luna. He made that happen because it was like, why are we seeing nothing but guys on the lineup? Mm-hmm. Why are there nothing but guys? You know, men support men, but the women support the men as well. I mm-hmm. support a lot of the Hano gentlemen in this industry. Mm-hmm. But I mean... It's time for the women. And there's so many different women out there now. Back in the day, there wasn't. There was only Elsa Garcia. You only had um, Shelly Lares, which big shout out to Shelly. Stephanie Montiel, Elida Reina, you know, uh, Linda Escobar. Those were the only women. But now it's just like a big old swarm of women that, that have so much talent. But yet you don't see these women on on on, on lineups. You don't see them on, on billboards. And it it's... That is what irritates me from the Tejano industry. Mm. So you think it's the industry perpetuating this? Um, um, I don't. I don't want to say sexism. I'm, I'm not no, going to put it on yeah, that. Let's but like, not say that. No, not that. But like, just the there is a larger audience for the, for men. the men. Yeah. Uh, why do you think that is? Because it's so much easier for a man. A man doesn't have to put on makeup. A man doesn't have to go buy an outfit. And a man just has to put his his hair slicked back, put on a nice pair of, you know, starched jeans, mm-hmm. starch shirt, have the band look exactly like him, and he's automatically up there. Mm-hmm. But for women, oh, my God, we have to get dressed. We have to make sure we look good because we're automatically um, categorized. And it's just, like, harder. It's It's been so very um, tough and challenging for me in this industry but I've made a name for myself. Yeah. I'm a veteran Tejano singer. Mm-hmm. I'm not a Tejano artist. I'm a multi-genre artist because mm-hmm. I can sing everything. Mm-hmm. But I choose Tejano because I love Tejano. Those mm-hmm. are my roots. That's mm-hmm. where I come from. That's what my dad put me in. And I'm doing it for my father because he believed in me for so many years. He still believes in me. Yeah. You know, I've yeah. made him proud. Yeah. And I'm, I'm proud that I made my dad proud. Yeah. You know. So it's just harder for girls, I guess. Do you think, only because I've talked to other artists, Mm -hmm. female artists, Mm -hmm. and what I'm kind of getting, it's like a consistent vibe, is that it's almost like women, which in general Mm -hmm. are kind of immediately like a sex symbol. Does that make it harder or do you you agree with that? Well, always, always love yourself. 
never pay attention to what people say online because they're behind the screen. They're not paying your bills and they do not matter. Mm-hmm. But yes, you know, um, it's okay to show our curves. It's okay to Period. show our boobs. Mm-hmm. It's just okay. And if you have a problem with it, then don't follow us. But our bodies are our temple. And if a woman is, is, is in love with herself, it's okay to show your assets, you know, and I, I'm all for it, man. I think men, women are beautiful. I've told you that millions of times, <laughs> you know, my husband knows I love women. <laughs> we check out women together. Yeah. <laughs> girl, 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. <laughs> Dang, did you see that girl? <laughs> so, you know, um, I just, I mean, with the generation nowadays, I mean, body is art. Absolutely. And if you got it, well, why not flaunt it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm I'm such a huge proponent of that, of being, we're Latinas. Yeah. Right? And so we've been told from when we were tiny mm-hmm. to be like chingona, to be To be fiery. chingona spicy. Yes. <laughs> like we're spicy, we're fiery. And for some reason, as the years go on, it's like, oh, no, don't don't be that. Well, but you told me to be that my whole life. Yeah. So it's like now I'm trying to uh, and it's this this struggle for me personally yeah. is like I am all of these things. I am a mother. I am. I love myself like I'm educated. I'm I'm beautiful and I want to show like I'm confident like I here's my body, but here's my mind. But here's, you know, me. As and a you mom, know how to me as a you know how owner. to talk about it. Right. Because there's sometimes when people will ask me a question, I get like really like stumped because I don't know how to explain it yeah. correctly. In my mind, I'm probably like saying all these things, but there's people who know how to talk. Mm-hmm. And um, you, like you said, you're educated. Yeah. But why you're can't we theater. show that we're all of these things? Like, why does it like, oh, you're a mom now. You can't you can't dress like that. Or, oh, she's a hoe. Oh, you're Sorry. educated now. You, <laughs> you're you're in a different career path. You can't you can't act like that. Like, no, well, I can do whatever the hell I want to do. To any younger artist that is coming out, do not release music that you do not agree with. If you don't like the song, you don't got to do it. If you don't like the cover of the actual single, uh, whatever it is, you don't have to do it. You are you. You be you and be true to yourself always. Mm -hmm. I don't care what anybody says because I was that girl. I was that girl that would listen to the, the producer when I was younger and I would record what they wanted me to record because I was under their label and I had to. Mm. So now that I listen to those songs, I'm like, why the hell did I do that? Yeah. I didn't even like that song. Mm-hmm. So that wasn't really Savannah. Yeah. That was the made up version of Savannah, I guess. Yeah. I guess that's what you would their say. Version it was their version of Savannah. Mm-hmm. What they portrayed me to be. Yeah. But then I started releasing like, you know, like, um, Loca Peligrosa, I started releasing Perra Mala, mm-hmm. I started releasing Brujeria, and they were like, why do you release music that is so negative? And I'm like, because I see good freaking like hurtful songs. Yeah. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I can try to sing a girly girly tune, and that's not me. Yeah. So why am I going to be something that I'm not? Yeah, no, I agree. So I show my fans that we all are the same. Yeah. We can all be related to one another. None of us are perfect. And we all have been through La Mas Fuerte. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We all have been through Vive. We've had our, our parents tell us, give us the utmost great advice. And we don't listen to it. Mm-hmm. I miss my mom. Yeah. I miss her telling me, why did you do that? And then I miss her hugs. So I make relatable music. And if it doesn't relate to me, then I cannot record it nor yeah. sing it because it's not being true to myself. Yeah. And and that's what I love about the upcoming, well, I don't want to say upcoming, but the artists like you or like, you know, Jenny B or like oh, yeah, other Jenny. female artists that I know uh-huh. that are like, here's some like amazing photos and here's my amazing video and here and it's all these things but it's them yeah 
And what I hate is when it's like an immediate like, oh, that's you're trying to do that. Or you're trying to why are you always showing your body or why are you always and I've heard it. Not just for myself, but for other people, other women and But like, those are those are um those are spectators. Sure. And the spectators usually just spectate. They really never do anything. Yeah. I just love that you guys are like, here I am. Here I am. Yeah. This we is have who the I balls. Am. Mm-hmm. They may not be down there. They may be up here. Mm. But we got balls to, to do what we do because not many other people in this, this world could be a game player. Yeah. You have to be a game player. If you're not a game player and you're a spectator, just stick there, stay, stay spectating, stay in that same room or go to your corner where you belong. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, as game players, we are going to go for it and we're going to do it. And I don't care what, and they don't care what anybody says. Jenny B, she doesn't give a shit what no. anybody says. And I tell people, just be unapologetically you. Yeah. As long as you're a good person. Exactly. Then do it. And I even tell my kids, do whatever you want. As long as you're not hurting yourself or, or anybody hurting else. Or hurting another person. And you're happy. Mm-hmm. I literally don't care what you do. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's all that matters And like me. my grandma says, no lo hagas lo que no quieren que te hagan. Don't do to others what you do not want done to you. Yep. Because I am karma. And it may not come to you right then and there, but don't mess with my family. It always comes back around. And do not mess with my money. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I say, too. I'm like, don't mess with my kids, my money, my man. Don't mess with any of it, and we'll be good. We're yeah. Gucci. Yeah. It's that easy. Yeah. <laughs> Drink break. Yes, right? Okay, so how do people follow you? How do they listen to your stuff? Um, so you can go on Savannah V Music um, on IG. On my uh, Facebook, it's Savannah V. I have another one. It's Savannah Votion Ramirez, but that's my regular page. If y'all want to follow me, y'all can just follow me on my regular page. <laughs> um, and then my link tree, man. My link tree links you to everything. So you can get my bio. You can get my actual website under Savannah V Music on link tree. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and then also I am the now the new host for Woman of Tejano Wednesdays. At KLMO, KLMO, the 198.9. Really? Yeah. Interesting. I love it. I'm okay. excited. Congratulations. I can't wait to like bring all these women to my yes. show and talk about their journey because yes. I love to hear about people's journeys. Me too. And I love to see them happy. Mm-hmm. Especially excited when they, when you've never heard your song on the radio. Man, that means that's so cool. Always, always take it in. If you're ever on a countdown, if you're ever you know, on a lineup when you're, you never thought that you would, I would, I never in my wildest dreams ever thought that I would be on a lineup with, with Stephanie. Mm. And when that happened, I was like, Oh my God. So just cherish it. Just take it all in and, and, and love every moment of it. Well, and the awards you've won too. I've, I've literally seen you win multiple uh-huh. awards at the Tejano Mundial Awards. Yeah. So, and I'm like, yes, that's I, I wasn't even expecting that. Um, I remember they asked me, they were like, Savannah, where are your mariachi outfit? And I was like, I'm not wearing my mariachi outfit. I just wore it yesterday, and I was on a horse with that thing. I am Ooh. not going to smell like a horse yeah. going to the to the Tejano Mundial. Uh-uh. So my really good friend, Miss Candy G, she had already knew. She was like, Mija, just wear it. And I was like, oh, no, I didn't know. Yeah. But it's crazy because I took my whole entourage. I don't know if you saw my whole entourage. I did. I had Ricky Versetti. We had the yeah. dancers, my grandma, my yeah. brother. Oh, I know. So I because I do the red carpet interview. Yeah. And you had like 17 people. And I was like, all right, camera, back it up because yeah. we need to get in the frame. And, and, yeah. and it was crazy because it was perfect. Yeah, it was perfect. And I didn't expect that. And I got to take my friends from the Wolfpack podcast and. I just, I had the time of my life. Yeah. I got to see my grandmother's face. I think mm. that's the one. Because I had been doing it for so many years. And to see her as happy as she was that day, I made her, I made her happy. And yeah. that was the main thing. Yeah. Because a lot of people don't understand what goes on in the background. They think, oh my God, they're just these, you know, they're just people that just release music. No, it's a lot of work. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of money, mm-hmm. a lot of work, a lot of time. Mm-hmm. It just and you're 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 having people help you. So it's just like, oh my god, I, I I need to do good because 
they helped me and I want them to be happy with the, the outcome. You know, it's just a lot. It is a lot. It's a lot. People don't see the back of anything. Mm. And like, even this, like, this takes coordination and time and resources and a producer exactly who also thank you came thank in. you for, for doing yeah. what you're doing and you know this is his spot and his time and like it takes a village yeah. to make it all happen and so much time and so many resources and so much concentration and then it's editing and then it's posting right it's yeah. all of these things like and this is why I have people on is because I want people to see and get a glimpse of an understanding of how much it takes. You're watching this or you're listening to this and it might be 45 minutes to an hour of your time. But to us, this is days, weeks, months, years yes. in the making, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. So when I was in, I say 2000, the worst time of my life, I was like, going through this wild uh, transition. I never thought in my wildest dreams I'd be sitting here in where I'm at today. I never thought I could accomplish this. Mm -hmm. And I'm proud of myself. You should be. I'm proud of you too. Thank you. Yeah. And I am going to go to school to become a Botox injector. Yes. So I'm excited about that. Yes. I work in the medical field. I've been in the medical field for about two, three years now. Um, yeah, I'm educated and just proud. I'm proud of you. And I have to show my daughter mm -hmm. that she has to strive for whatever she wants. Nothing is given to you. Nothing mm -hmm. is given to you. Nothing. But all the hard work pays off. Yeah. All the blood, sweat, and tears. Oh, yes. Yeah. All the blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah. <laughs> it comes to a point where you're like, oh, shit, I did that. Oh, shit. Yeah, I did yeah. that. Like, and I did that, and I did that, and I did that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. So keep going. All right. Last thing. Any words for your fans? Thank you for following me. Thank you for always being my loyal fans. And, mm, you know, no matter what, on my down times, always giving me the support. Apoyo. I love you guys so very, 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 very much. Y'all mean the world to me. If it wasn't for you, I, I don't think I can continue singing. I don't think I continue would continue even making music. Um, I make music for y'all to relate to y'all. And thank you for your feedback and always supporting. I love it. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you, girl. I love you. Thank, thank you for you. having me. Of course, of course. Um, all right, guys. So... Uh, make sure you like, share, follow, purchase, all of that M music. I got new music yeah. coming out. I can be on the lookout. I'm yes. releasing a CD. Bolo. I'm releasing an album. This will be my junior album. I love it, and I'm excited because yes. <laughs> I'll be a senior soon, and I'll be I'll be a hit. <laughs> I don't know why never. is it that that I'm I, I'm only I'm young still. Yeah, and I feel like I'm just this old artist you are an old artist but you're a young person i know it's yeah. just crazy and when people are like what do you mean you've been in the Tejano industry for 24 years i'm mm -hmm. like yeah i've been in since i was 10 years old yeah i recorded at the age of 13 in a little freaking like in a little closet yeah that's where it starts though that's where it started mm -hmm. yeah i love that and it, if it wasn't for the people that believed in me back then i wouldn't be where i'm at mm -hmm. today yeah. It all it it all kind of like it comes together towards you. Absolutely. So don't lose sight of that, guys. Um, OK, so like, share, follow, listen. Um, again, if you're listening, go watch. If you're watching, go listen. Share with your friends. Yes. Share with your family, your tios, tias, Sancho, Sancho, you know, whoever. Ah. Tias, tios. Yeah. All of them. Your abuela. Um, thanks again to Valpa Media for housing and producing. And thanks again to Latino Podcast Network. And yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Guys. And see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>